Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, we've got a great show lined up for you today. Lots of excitement and new information. We're going to hear a little bit, a little sneak peek about the HIT. Uh, our guests today are coming from Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. We'll have Brad Hoganson and Carrie Bjorndahl joining us on the show. Plus, we'll also hear about some expansion and redevelopment going on with Hillcrest. And then later on in the show, we've got a ribbon cutting for you. We'll be down at Lash Lounge for their grand opening and showing you off the new Lash Lounge, one of Fergus Falls' newest businesses. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a little break. Considering an online pharmacy? Explore Be Safe Rx to find useful information and resources to help you purchase medicines safely online. A safe online pharmacy requires a doctor's prescription, has an address in the United States, has a licensed pharmacist, and is licensed by a state pharmacy board. It's best to stay away from online pharmacies that don't meet these criteria. Discover more helpful tips and resources at Be Safe Rx. Go to fda.gov slash Be Safe Rx. Well, welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. My guests today are from Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. Brad Hoganson is here with me, along with Carrie Bjorndahl. So glad to have you guys on the show. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for taking a break out of the, the day of education and yeah. coming in to share with us about some, there's some really exciting things going on with Hillcrest. Lots. Lots, Lots of, of big changes that yep. I'm sure, especially if folks, um, maybe their kids have, you know, grown up and they don't have kids, you know, in the, the K through 12 system anymore. They've moved away or, they're, you know, they're just right. not, not aware of all the things that have been going on. But a couple of years, a big thing happened when it comes to um, growing the grades. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that first. Yeah. So I, I came to Fergus Falls in 1984 as a student uh, at Hillcrest, a senior from New Jersey. And at the time, the principal was Mr. Bill Colbeck, yeah. um, a legend. A le absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I remember him talking about in our um, senior social class about a new school that was going to start in town for a Christian school uh, for the younger grades, uh, kindergarten through uh, sixth grade. And, sure. um, and And it was morning sun. And you heard, you heard about we that We heard back about it seniors. then. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, probably didn't think about it then, no. what, how important it was, but now here, just in November of uh, 2020, 2019, 2020, yeah, I the, get my dates mixed I, up. I, yeah, it was, a, it, was a number, it was a number of years of a process, but we've merged together, uh, Morning Sun and Hillcrest, and now we're one school, Hillcrest Lutheran Academy, and we have grades preschool through grade 12. Wow, it's that's awesome. amazing. It's so fun. So fun to see the littles, call yeah. them our little comets. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's so fun, so fun. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And with that um, merger and now having the preschool through 12th grade available, and, and you're on two campuses now with the Morning Sun campus, um, you've got a new campus that's going to be happening. Yeah. Tell us about that. Carrie, you want to touch on that? Sure. So um, the Nazarene Church has hosted Morning Sun since its inception, and they are growing as a church as well, and their ministry needs are um, growing at their building, and so it was becoming difficult to share the space, and so Morning Sun was faced with that decision of where do they go, and, and as they merged together with Hillcrest, we thought, can we put them all on the big upper campus? And we have you know, four or five buildings on that campus. And uh, at the same time, Bethel Church is growing. And they're building, right. they're building. And right. all, we see sudden, the yeah. in your all, yeah, right all of a sudden, this 16-acre campus that we've been on for about 87 years became very small. And how are we going to have the uh, you know, grades preschool through 12th grade on one campus? And we also consider, you know, with parking and driving and the safety of young children playing outside, and it became right. very apparent that the best choice was to have an upper campus and a lower campus, and we would be able to meet the needs of the kids developmentally um, with playground space and um, just parking and driving safety um, and parents being able to come and go at the school. And that was leading the board to look for a place to expand. And I love how Brad says this. We were praying for a, for a building. Space. And God gave us a school. So we are we were able to purchase what is the old Eisenhower Elementary School from LB Homes. They were yep. using it as their offices. 
and it becomes basically transferring it from office space back to a school. Still has the cafeteria, it still has the gym, right. all yeah. of these places it's that are perfect. Amazing facility. Oh, it is just it's beautiful. Right for elementary students, and there'll be plenty of room for a playground, which we are in the midst of fundraising to get just a wonderful playground for them. Um, and it, just to be developmentally perfect in that setting for them over there. So we'll have the lower campus, Hillcrest, and then the upper campus at the what people often call the castle. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, that is that is exciting news. And so what is our timeline, Brad, when it comes to the um, renovation and move-in and the process for when it, sure. the Isaac... Eisenhower, will you call it the, the lower the campus? Lower campus. Yeah. And that will be preschool through grade? Right now, probably through uh, grade four. Okay. Um, enrollment is really uh, very strong. Okay. Uh, Pre-enrollment looks very good. So we're probably going to keep uh, fifth and sixth grade up on the main campus, the sure. upper school campus. Uh, so this, yeah, so this fall we began the process of uh, uh, families, uh, you know, moms, dads, kids came and volunteered. Uh, oh, to wow. do the demo. Oh, um, fun. I bet they love that. It, it was a lot a of fun of and just great community building. Um, good hard work and, 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 and all that. But um, So that was done uh, by, by January 1st. And then in January, uh, local contractors came in and started doing uh, some plumbing, some electrical, uh, resheet rocking uh, walls. And, and sure. uh, it's getting close to ready. Uh, we we think it'll be ready towards the end of March, maybe mid-April. Okay. And uh, and it'll be ready to go. We'll start moving things in, and then when school is done um, for the school year, teachers uh, will move classrooms over, ready to open in the fall. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that exciting. last day of school. That's you know usually like the clean up the classroom and pack right. up your desk. Um, the lower school principal, Mrs. Ahmed, has planned that to be kind of like the movement across town, the, the classroom and their parents and students and teachers will pack up their class and shuttle across town oh, that'll and be bring neat. the things right. in. So on the last day of school, it will be almost like an ushering and a saying goodbye. Kind of a parade. An yes, it's Very so yes. fun. So they will be there the yeah. fall of, of 2022. That will be where they start school. That's yes. exciting. That's so exciting. exciting. Kids are excited. <clears throat> Our first donors to the program um, were, were two students um, who um, who came up to my office? They said they wanted to to talk to me. And of course, I love that anyways. And they came and they had two little Ziploc bags of oh. their of their savings, and uh, and so they gave it to me. And of course, That's I'm fantastic. just you know hugging these kids, <laughs> telling them thank you. And this is the best part. One little girl. You might want to keep your eye on this young lady. Um, <laughs> she she whispers in my ear. I didn't I didn't give it all. And I said I said oh. I said, well, that, it's okay. You don't have yeah. to. She says, I'm going to buy some chickens, and then I'm going to sell the eggs so I can keep on yes. giving to the app. Uh, oh, right? I love that. a young entrepreneur. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> and with the giving spirit, yeah. too. Absolutely. Yep. Wonderful. You, you know what it is? Our, our business community, um, as they do well, is able to give to organizations, mm -hmm. you know, like Hillcrest and things like that. But Hillcrest is also given to the community, mm -hmm. too, yeah. by bringing folks like you back to our community, bringing other entrepreneurs sure. to back to Fergus yes. Falls. You know, there's such a, a great connection between Hillcrest and the community. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. I think uh, that's been an ongoing thing in, in Fergus Falls. For generations. For many generations. Mm -hmm. um, even when I think about, um, you know, for, for me, um, looking even at the, some of the contractors that are in town, they've been in town for a number of years, um, but there are people I go, well, this person came to Hillcrest, their family moved to town and or whatever, right. and now they're here part of the community in that in that world. Last last year or last two years, uh, we had about eighteen families that moved to Fergus mm -hmm. specifically to come wow. to Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of move away and then come back. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> COVID actually in, it opened the door for many families. So many sure. jobs went home. You could work from home. Sure. And so specifically, uh, a, a large number of parents, I can think of five to six families whose, because their job went home for COVID, they took that opportunity 
to move to Fergus Falls, move. Mm-hmm. and then their kids attend Hillcrest, and their jobs now are staying home, and they're able to assimilate Seamless. into our community. Yeah. yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in Fergus? Oh, it's a beautiful yeah. town, it's a, it's wonderful fantastic place, wonderful community. people. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. in addition to bringing students here, um, you know, through the, the preschool, through 12th grade, you also bring people back mm-hmm. for the annual HIT, the Hillcrest Invitational mm-hmm. Tournament, coming up uh, the first weekend in April, April 8th and 9th. Yes. Yep. That's so correct. tell us about that. That's been ongoing yeah. tradition. I'll let Carrie talk about that. It's her yeah. role of uh, alumni engagement and yeah. stuff. That falls yeah. right into your... So um, I'm new to Hillcrest in this position, but not new to Hillcrest in no. that I grew up no. as the child of two parents who worked at Hillcrest for many, many years and then attended there myself. Graduated back in the 90s. Um, we're such a family at Hillcrest, so I happened to yeah. graduate with Brad's sister. You know, it's right. kind of like right. that. Everybody Everyone's has got some connections. connections. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I grew up in the halls of Hillcrest, my parents serving there. And um, so the ministry of Hillcrest and the heartbeat of it has always been part of my life. And now my husband and I have moved back to Fergus. We're one of those families. We moved back so our five kids could attend Hillcrest. We've been here for two years now. Fantastic. And it's just, it's been a great transition. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, We loved our home in Alexandria, but it was just, there was a call to come here. And um, unbeknownst to me, that also led to me getting a job at Hillcrest. So I just started this past (laughs) August and my role is to care for the alumni. So when you're at Hillcrest, we want to take really good care of you, Mm -hmm. but that doesn't end. Fergus Falls is your home as you go away and you go back to the places or you know, someone is taken to a job away from Fergus Falls, we want them to know that Fergus Falls and Hillcrest is always here for them. It's their home. That's sure. my job. So we um, we create events, we create opportunities, we create a sense of connection and belonging and want them to know uh, there's something to come back to. So our one of our big gifts to our alumni is to have this basketball tournament. Yeah. And it may seem funny, you know, how does a basketball tournament do that? But it creates such a fellowship and a time of fun around basketball. There are about 150 games of basketball played in 24 hours. Wow. I know. That's amazing. No, right. And, right. And Makes you tired. And so yeah, that's a scheduling thing. All the gyms over at Kennedy Public School is so um, wonderful, wonderful to us. They rent us their gyms. Yep. Um, we have, in at times, had up to 62 teams. There's wow. stories of times where they played in the gym over in Underwood. They've used the community college, the regional treatment center. Um, Kirkbride Building had a gymnasium at one time that was being used. Wow. So the history of this uh, 53-year-old basketball tournament That's is, amazing. is just right. wonderful. And again, and it's, it's the Hillcrest Invitational Tournament, so it's people coming back yeah. to Hillcrest. This isn't... Um, just the Hillcrest High School team no. playing. No, no, no. In fact, our high school team doesn't participate as they're pretty much all on a team. You know, they find a way to play. <laughs> There's such a diversity yeah. of teams that are created. But um, the team doesn't actually participate as a team. Their tournament time is over. And But this is more of um, people build teams around churches, friendship. Right. It could be um, a group of, of alumni. alumni that pull together a team. And, and it is just... There's different divisions, so you can compete from the, you know a lower level of ability all the way up to some we call it Division One, and it is it's some intense. really good basketball. Very, it's very good basketball, and, and it brings people back to the community too. Yeah, so sure. it's not just those that are sure. in the area; yeah. Yeah. they're coming we, from all over. And we think it could um, the weekend of the eighth and ninth. We would love businesses to be ready, restaurants Everybody. and stores. It it brings you know close to a thousand people into town wow. to our hotels sure. and our restaurants. So we're excited for them to see Fergus Falls and, you know, between basketball games, get out and check out one of the wonderful stores or restaurants here in Fergus. Yeah, and, and so much has changed even in the last couple Absolutely. years. Absolutely. Because you haven't hosted the tournament in two years, so no. I think people are going to be chomping at the bit to come back and Absolutely. play a little yep. wee ball. Yep. Yep. Well, and Carrie, tell us a little bit about how this started, too, because I think the Hillcrest yeah. Yeah. Invitational Tournament, the HIT, yeah. has a great uh, foundation in how it started. Yeah. Well, many people in Fergus know Scott Colbeck, and he's our, one of our wonderful principals here in the public school system. His dad was the principal and coach um, and many different roles at Hillcrest for many years. Um, Mr. Colbeck, we call him, or William H. Colbeck. Um, he was coaching the basketball team in 1967. And at that time, we were participating as a basketball team against the small towns in the area, right. playing in all of the games, so going up to Audubon and Eulin, I can look back at the record and see who won and lost each of those games. But when it came to 
tournament time, we were not yet right. a part of the Minnesota State High School League. Sure. Our school didn't have acceptance into the league. So when playoffs came, even though they had had a great season, they couldn't participate in playoffs. Sure. And the boys were discouraged, and Mr. Kolbeck didn't think it was good for teenage boys to be discouraged and not have something to do. <laughs> yeah. So he That's said, him. let me create a tournament for you to participate in. And he made the first Hillcrest Invitational Tournament. So it started in 1967, inviting three churches, put together your best team of young mm-hmm. men, and come and play against our high school boys. And they played a, a set Fun. of games, and they had their first tournament, and it was something that everybody loved, and they kept doing it. Even, of course, Hillcrest is now part of the, invita- the Minnesota State High School League and has sure. been for years, yeah. but the tournament didn't die. The love for coming together, having a reason to get together and play basketball has continued. A great reason for folks to, to journey back to Fergus Falls mm-hmm. if, yep. if home is somewhere else mm-hmm. right. right now. And we, of course, welcome all their fans and families and, and the ball players too, for sure. coming back to the community. So again, it's just a great way to engage folks in the community mm-hmm. and you know make that uh, relationship between Hillcrest and the community yeah. even stronger. We appreciate that. And we that want everybody to be able to know who and how to watch. So on our website, um, you can actually, when the tournament is getting ready to take place, the last week we'll put up the rosters and the names of the people and the places they'll be playing. So there may be somebody that you know wants to look up, I want to follow this team or that person right. and see who's in town. If you're curious, our website will have all of those details. That's pretty neat because you can find maybe some long-lost friends or yes. that you didn't know were coming back to town. You can go watch them play ball mm-hmm. and right. cheer them on. So. Yep. And, and what will be great, too, is you're going to cheer for... Every team, because they're all it's so Hillcrest fun. alum or Hillcrest yep. connections. Yeah, yep. In the yep. last one we had, it was the, I think the team to watch was uh, a team of, of moms that came. They were the mom squad. They were the, <laughs> they were the tournament favorite, hands down. It was so yep. fun. Oh, fun. Yep. Well, and there's, some, fun. there's some good basketball players yeah. on there, too. Hannah Draxton Clark was on that right. mom squad, and she's yeah. quite a, a she's decorated quite a ball basketball player. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So great entertainment for that. Of course, folks can check that out on your website to find right. schedules and locations mm-hmm. and times. Yep. 24 hours of lots of basketball. Yes. Yep. Lots and lots. And again, we're happy to welcome them back to the community, yeah. too. Thank and, you. Well, anything else we should touch on, the things going on with Hillcrest? I mean, there's the, the everyday stuff. We could talk about all yeah. kinds of things. We could talk all day long. <laughs> I'll say this. One of the things that we're very excited about this year is... Uh, you know, kind of coming out of COVID, we're seeing uh, a lot, you know, we didn't have a lot of our international students. Right. Um, that's always a big thing, particularly the Danielson School in Bergen, Norway. Uh, they started their uh, relationship, and it was because they um, liked Fergus Falls mm-hmm. and Hillcrest. Mm-hmm. And um, so last year, we didn't have our Danielson students. And uh, so they're, they're back. back. They've yep. been back, yeah. And we're very, very, very happy about that. Fantastic. Well, again, we love seeing them in the community. They're just a joy when you... Yeah. I, I just see, you know, you see a group of giggling gals at, you know, the Viking Cafe yep. around town. <laughs> they love the Viking <laughs> Cafe. Yep. And And the 17th of May, set in the May, uh, they, they, they're out of school for that day because that's their... Uh, national holiday, holiday right. and they dress up in beautiful, you know, guys in their suits and the girls often will wear their traditional garb and they'll walk through the streets waving flags. It's and fantastic. The, it's, it's fun. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah. joining us on the show today and sharing a little bit about thank you the, for the history of, of Hillcrest as well as things coming up in the future and some basketball, too. Yes. Yes. You know, it is yeah. it is March, so That's we're right. going to talk about basketball, That's right. right? So That's right. looking forward to the HIT coming up April 8th yes. and 9th, too. Yeah. So Absolutely. thanks so much for having uh, being our guest on the show today. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for you. having us. Yeah. You bet. We'll be back after a little break. It doubles every two minutes. How long? Hey, Dad. We're going for a run. Okay. Uh, you're going to go together? That's what we means. Okay. Uh, well, just be careful. Make sure you're not running alone. Stay on the sidewalk. Watch for cars. Don't talk to strangers. Another virus was blocked? What are you doing? Are you listening to me? All right? Because when it comes to safety, nobody knows safety better than me. Be careful out there. Are you doing an online quiz? Yeah. This one's going to tell me my IQ, which I've always wanted to know, because it's a mystery. I'm guessing it's very low because all these quizzes are for us to get your passwords for everything. Oh, is that right? How do you not know that? How do you know that? How long have you been doing these quizzes for? How old are you? 11. 11 years. How do you not know how old I am? Because it's a long time, 11 years, to remember stuff. 
All right, well, we're gonna go for a run and watch for cars and strangers, and you change all your passwords so your identity isn't wiped out. Bit dramatic. Really like to know my IQ, though. Doubles every two minutes. How long? for Lash Lounge. Um, tell us a little bit about how you got this started, how you started um, your business, because this is like amazing story. Yeah, so I kind of started with lashes a few years ago when I was doing, when I went to nursing school and then finally just wanted to be on my own and do my own business. So went to school in July and August, graduated and then opened the business in October. <laughs> Wow. So it was quick. <laughs> very quick. Very quick. Yeah. And so, and we're in the beautiful, well, it's now beautiful, McGowan Building. You've done an amazing job uh, renovating. I'll bet you had a little help with some folks. Yes. Yep. Um, Orn Electric did all the um, lighting, and then Bruce Furman, he owns the building, and then did a lot of the remodel process. So I trusted him through the process, but then my dad and I did flooring, and my mom helped with painting, and... All of our friends getting everything set up and put together. So absolutely, it gets, yeah. a, gets a, it takes a community to to make it happen and put it all together. So tell us a little bit about the services that you provide. Obviously, beautiful lashes. So <laughs> yep, eyelash extensions. Um, just eyelashes right now. So classic hybrid volume and mega volume lashes. They just okay. okay. So school me on that. Now. I know the guys know what all these <laughs> are. So. So classic. Yep, classic lashes, just very natural looking. Um, hybrid is more of like a mascara look, and then volume is the big full lashes. So okay, yeah, fantastic, great yeah. services, and so folks can book yeah. online. Online through Vagaro, yep, or Facebook too. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. And you are busy. I'm yeah. Right now I'm <laughs> fully booked, but I have a waiting list going. So waiting list. You get added on whenever and it's hard to know when a spot opens up but they yeah. do get on the list now while yeah. you can right yeah. got that yeah. ready <laughs> <laughs> well, well let's do this ribbon cutting this is a community event so we want everybody to be a part of this you come on come on <laughs> gather on up because I, I can't hold the ribbon well, myself yeah it's the worst for us probably yeah no you this is community we want you part of this <laughs> we support each other around here so come on Get in here, you guys. Unless you have a camera, I want you on this side. Like I said, this is a community event. This is a, a celebration for sure. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You can be part of this, too. Yeah, maybe, maybe we have school. This is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to miss a lot of people. Okay. I'm not going to be able to fit everybody. Uh, do you want people to scoot in? Yeah. Or you down. Can we all shift like you guys shift down? Yeah. 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 That way we're going to have. There we go. <laughs> Bob is like, are you in a good spot? <laughs> Let's get cozy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right, she's gonna keep that sister. Um, <laughs> and if you cannot see me, I cannot see you. So I have people in the back. You're okay. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't get any taller. You can come okay. up front with me. I'm gonna take a few. Everybody smile. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Wow, this is amazing crowd in here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whenever Okay, we're gonna ready. count to three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Woo! We did it! We did it! Yeah! That was awesome. Yeah, we're cheering. Congratulations. Thank you. And we have a little uh, plaque for you because right away, Alex joined the 
the chamber, so we got an official chamber member clap. So Thank happy you. to have you part of our business community and all your fans. Look yes. at you have got all yeah. these fans, whether they're <laughs> last customers or not. We're all cheering for you. So yeah. congratulations you. on the grand opening of your business and best wishes and much success and happiness and long yeah. lashes. <laughs> long lashes, yeah. <laughs> Thank Yay. you. Again, Thanks congratulations. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Well, welcome back to the show. I want to thank our guests today for joining us on the show, Brad and Carrie from Hillcrest, and of course, Alex, the owner of Lash Lounge. Congratulations on their grand opening. And if you want to find out more about what's going on in Fergus Falls, hear about some great new businesses and activities and events that are coming up, I invite you to zoom in with us for Chamber Cafe. It'll be on Thursday, March 10th. You can tune in from anywhere. Starts at 7.30 in the morning. We're wrapped up by 9 o'clock, and it is free. And if you register by March 7th, you'll get entered in an early bird drawing for breakfast. So we're going to, going to be giving away uh, gift cards for our local restaurants who serve breakfast. So you'll get a chance to win some free breakfast. So Thursday, March 10th is Chamber Cafe. Register on our website at fergusfalls.com. I'm Lisa Workman. This has been Find It in Fergus Falls, and we'll see you again next week.